Hello, hello. This is to uh, answer Stefano uh, about uh, making um, a keyboard maestro thing that would uh, rename your markers uh, by, uh, sorry, rename your clip by the marker name. All right. So right now, this is what I have in keyboard maestro. Uh, the thing that I'm using is that I'm using the keypad to uh, open the marker uh, menu or go to a marker. Uh, the problem is that you can't, you know, really paste two numbers in the keypad. So if your marker is like number 29, for example, you would have to type keypad 2 and then keypad 9. So I made, I found, I researched and I found a way to uh, actually, it's called switch a variable, right? So you can say, for example, if the my variable is 1, then type the keypad 1. Right, so this is for the tens and the uh, units. So first, I thought, well, I need to separate. It's not very elegant yet, but I need to separate the tenth and the units. I'm assuming we're going between marker one and ninety-nine, for example. You know, so here it asks the user to say, "Give me the tenth, right?" So and so you should enter zero. Um, if uh, if it's um, between zero and nine, and here I'm asking then to the, enter the unit. So if you want to rename uh, the marker, sorry, the clip that is at marker seven, you should type zero, enter seven, enter, and then uh, it will open the marker menu, which is the um, it will, sorry, it will type those keypad numbers and press enter. That opens the marker menu as if you were gonna name your marker. But my thought was that here, what we do is we copy the marker name. We just copy because when you open that menu, the name gets selected automatically. So we copy that in the clipboard and then we press the escape menu. So the escape menu means you didn't change anything. You didn't rename your marker, but we captured the name, right? Then I'm going to the marker, right? So the first time I'm going to the marker and pressing uh, return to capture the name, then I'm going to the marker. So this time I'm using the keypad, the period on the keypad to go to the marker. Then to select my region, right? I press shift tab. So I'm assuming though, we have to start with our um, insertion point uh, that is on the track where we want to work, right? And then so the um, to select the region is shift tab when we're at the beginning of our marker is going to select everything between that and the next, uh, the end of the region. Then I like to put pauses so that it go, doesn't go too fast because sometimes when you go too fast, the you know Pro Tools or the computer doesn't really like it. So I have a lot of those pauses. They can maybe reduced in time. Then uh, now when we press um, this crazy key command here, uh, it's called uh, rename region, which you find here that key command. I think if you go to clip, right, rename here. So it's like option shift command R. Right now that our marker is selected, we can just rename it. Let's go back to keyboard maestro. So I paste the marker name that is in the clipboard in that, and then I press return to save it. So let's see if it works. So if I go here and I want to rename, uh, let's say marker six, you see it's called six plus. So I'm going to launch my macro. So it's zero. Okay, six, it captures the name and it renames the marker and the disk six plus. Now let's see if we want to rename region 12, for example, All right? So I'm going to say one, two for 12. It goes get the name and rename that. Now, I think we could do something similar. If you say, for example, I want to start at uh, region one, and then go to, we could say, what's the first marker number? What's the last marker number? And then have something that increments the number for us. 
uh, but I haven't done that version yet. Uh, but you know, let me know if that you're interested, um, and I'll send you this macro, and we could work on a version that does it like from this marker number to that marker number.